Sometimes in life, Hashem works the world in a way that is so incredible. And I want to really bring out why, if there was ever one night of the entire year to do this, it's this night. And why gratitude is so critical. Within one week, I heard two stories that changed my life not too long ago. A few weeks ago, Shalman and I were in a uh, speech of Shalom Arush. Some of you may or may not have been there. Rav Shalom Arush got up into the following story, and it knocked me off my chair. He said a woman came into his office who couldn't have kids for over a decade, and she said to him, we are trying to have children, what do you say, we want your advice? And he said to her, I'm going to tell you something, you know what, forget it. And she goes, no, 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 tell me. She, he goes, you know what, forget it. She goes, no, 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 tell me, I came. He goes, nah, 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 bracha vatzlach. She goes, no, 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 you were going to say something, you were going to say something, say what you were going to say. Only like in Israel can they get away with that. You know what I'm saying? We'd be like, yes, sir, thank you so much. She's like, no, no, no. He's like, bracha vatzach. He's like, she goes, no, please. He goes, listen, I'm going to tell you something, but I'm not going to tell you. You know what? Because if I tell you, you're not going to do it. So what's the point of me telling you? She's like, I'm totally doing it. He's like, you're not going to do it. He goes, how long have you and I have kids for? She goes, I haven't had kids for a decade. He goes, how painful it is. She goes, I cry myself to sleep every single night. I can't walk the streets of Yerushalayim. I can't walk into a park in Yerushalayim over the pain of not having a child. He goes, you want my advice for having kids? She goes, what do I have to say? What school? What parent can tell him? He goes, I want you to go home tonight. Lock yourself in a room and one hour every single day. I want you to thank Hashem for not giving you kids. She's like, excuse me? I'm sorry, <laughs> because I must have not been, I don't speak Hebrew yet. What are you, joking me? He goes, I told you. She goes, wait, you want me to go home and thank Hashem? He's like, wait, wait, do you run the, does he run the world or do you run the world? You're saying that he's doing something that's not for your benefit? She goes, okay, listen to the story. He goes, you go home tonight, and every single night, this is Rishol Mishra, this is Charlie Rye, it's a real guy, you know, throw him out here with a book. A real book. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Private joke, forever bought the book. And she goes home that night, and she turns to her husband and says, I'm going to do it. And she locks herself in the room, and for one hour, every day, every day, she thanks Hashem for not giving her children. Can you imagine? Ten years, crying for children? Within one year, of Shalom Rush was the son to get her son's breasts. Within one year. Two days later, I'm on the phone with a tzaddik in Eretz Yisrael like a real major tzaddik who is a massive Hashem should bless him Mekubal and we're, I'm talking to him about somebody who needs a Yeshua and he says to me in his way which I'm paraphrasing and probably messing up he says that person has a Yeshua coming can you imagine? Hashemayim said like almost gave it to them and then he says to me but it's not going to come I said how come? He says, because that, well, it's not coming yet. Not coming yet. He goes, because that person deserves the Yeshua, but they're not grateful enough in life. Shemaim can't give people Yeshuas that aren't grateful. Within one week. So I went back and I reread Garden of Gratitude 35 times. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.